Welcome to Great Talk Master Peel Maths, and today we're going to talk about solve for x, and I'm just going to simplify it and break it down into its simplest form. So let's get started. So now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the different type of questions that you can find under solve for x, and solve for x is found in paper one, question one from the first paper, right? So the type of questions that you can find there, the first one is the quadratic equation, right? The second one is quadratic inequality. Third one is simultaneous equation, right? Then it could, it's going to be exponents or it could be isolates. Uh, then um, they can sprinkle a little bit of nature of roots or some topics from grade 10 and grade 11. And that normally falls under hard questions, quote unquote, right? So now with that said, what we're going to do is we're going to take a section and talk more about it right so the first section that we're going to talk about is solving quadratic equations so it's a with solving quadratic equation the thing that you need to know is that for you to be in order to master this section like solving quadratic equation you need to be very good with factorizing right so it's so the the factorizing that you need to know is the following the first one is finding a common factor the second one is a difference of two squared. The third one is factorizing a quadratic trinomial, right? Then now we're going to move to what? We're going to move to quadratic inequality. As you can hear from the word, it says quadratic, right? So basically what you need to know, you also need to know how to factorize, right? So you knowing how to factorize is going to be easy for you to basically solve quadratic inequality. And I basically kind of created a new method on solving quadratic equality using this diagram that I'm going to put in the screen. The reason why I'm using this diagram is that I want to basically implement this diagram to teach students on how to approach it and always get the question right. So if you, if you in my course and you're struggling with inequality, this is basically new and I'm probably going to announce it. And if you are struggling with inequality, you can purchase my course and this is the new method. And I promise it's, it's pretty good. The way I did it, I made it very simple. So that's quadratic inequality, right? Then now I'm moving to simultaneous equation. This is an example of a simultaneous equation. You basically need to solve for X and Y. That's the gist of it. And a tip that I can give you is that with solving simultaneous equation, the first equation that you're going to make equation one, always take the one that is a linear equation, right? Then we're going to move to exponents. With exponents, for you to master exponents, you need to be very good at your exponent laws. So you need to understand how they work, how they operate, because that's what you're going to use when you're basically solving uh, exponential equations, right? So you need to understand the basics and the laws for you to basically do well in terms of like solving exponential laws. Then we have said set is the same thing as exponents you basically need to understand the laws right and you understanding the laws it's going to be very easy for you to implement the laws for solving set equations right then under basically um the solve for x they could give you like sprinkle some hard questions and under those hard questions it could be substitution sometimes because i saw a question like that or sometimes they can like sprinkle like something from natural foods but like natural foods is not like one of those questions that they always come out it kind of like falls under like the hard questions but if you know your nature of roots and how they operate then you can find those type of questions pretty simple so that is the breakdown of like so for x and the type of questions that you can find under and under those questions what you need to expect to find right So now, since we talked about so for X and its breakdown, we're going to do your color method, right? So with the color method, as I explained, the color method, I have a video, I'm going to link it. It's basically before you start with anything, you do a quiz. After doing a quiz, obviously you mark yourself. If you're going to do the quiz, like you're going to create your own quiz. After marking yourself, you look at the sections that are bothering you. Then from looking at those sections that are bothering you, then you focus on those sections. But starting from the ones that you got like lowest marks, going to the ones that you got like an average. But if you got a total, you don't necessarily necessarily so need to focus like very like intense on it you just focus on the ones that you get things like very low marks right so that's the kind of method in gist but if you want to hear more about it there's a video it's a pretty good method and it basically helps you to spread study smart instead of hard because instead of you doing everything and repeating things that you know you can just like focus on the parts that you don't understand so that's the gist of what a color method is and as i said 
there's a video, I'm going to link it, right? So with using the color method, what I did is I already created a quiz for you guys. So when you enter my course, or oh, I'm going to leave the quiz here, right? Is that the first thing that you're going to get is the quiz, right? So you're going to get a quiz, then you're going to do the quiz. After doing the quiz, it's going to automatically mark you, then you're going to get your result. So the nice thing is that how I broke down this video, right? The sections and also how I broke down the quiz and also how I broke down my course is exactly the same way. So let's say while doing the quiz, which is going to be, this is going to be a sample of like maybe when you're done doing the quiz, let's say maybe the type of questions that you got wrong was probably maybe um, simultaneous equations and solving quadratic and maybe your exponents, right? Let's say the fact that that is the topics that you got like completely total zero, right? Then what you're going to do is that in my course, you're going to go there, then you're going to go under the course, under the grade 12, so for X, there's going to be a section. As I said, the fact that my breakdown is the same, you're going to go under solving quadratic equation, then you're going to do all the questions that have to do with quadratic equations, right? Then when you're done, the nice thing is that when you're watching a video lesson, you're also going to be what? You're going to be like the next thing is going to be like a quiz to test you, right? Then when you're done doing that, since you know the fact that, okay, cool, you know the fact that you understand the work, you're going to go to the next section that you don't understand, which could be simultaneous equation. Do the whole thing. Do questions that are related to sim simultaneous equation, right? Then after doing that, after it, there's going to be a quiz so that you can test whether you understand or not before you move to the next section. Then thirdly, you move to exponents and do the same thing. Watch all the video lessons related to that. Then test yourself while doing that. Then when you're done doing the sections that you don't understand to check whether you understand or not, is that you're going to do a past paper question, which is going to be under past paper questions, right? You're going to do that quiz. Then after doing that quiz, you're going to, it's going to automatically mark you. Then after that, there's going to be solutions, right? Very key important. This is very important. Do not look at the solutions first don't don't do that because that will be cheating and you're not going to know whether you understand or not so the goal is to do the quiz take it as a test so that you can know which section you really don't understand and just to put it out there the past paper questions there's going to be questions that are a little bit tricky but the nice thing is that if there is a question that's tricky what i'm going to do is that I'm going to provide a video solution to that quiz as a memo. It's not going to be a picture form because I understand the fact that there's more that I need to talk about it in that aspect, right? So there will be like a video solution, quote unquote, for that. So that's what you would do, right? And let's say while basically doing the quiz and everything, let's say you do not understand and you still feel like you need extra help. There is two ways while watching the video lessons and also um, doing the quiz, you can ask me any question, right? So that's pretty nice. So you can ask me and, 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 and interact with me so that I can help you as you're going through each and every section. But let's say you've done that and you wrote the test and you still feel like it's not like you're not understanding you can actually book a 30 minute consultation with me and i'll help you and we can figure out a way forward so that you can achieve your goal because my goal is for you to understand and for you to basically achieve your med goal the one that you want so if you need my assistance you have 30 minutes you can book right and book a session with me then we can like go through it and basically figure out and i can give you tips and tricks on maybe where you're going wrong on on how to improve certain sections. So that's how it is. So now let's talk about the price of the course and where to find it, right? And also there is one more thing. If before you want to purchase the course, I offer 30 minutes free consultation before you purchase so that maybe you want to talk about how to like stretch your diet so that you can achieve your goal. So I want to talk about that and um, the link to this quiz, the one for Soul for X and the link to next week quiz, which is for number pattern, right? So let's start. So the course for Soul for X, it's 120 because it falls under topics that are, Soul for X kind of does have a lot of marks, but it falls under for me, it falls like 
like it's not the main topic so it falls under the ones that like don't contain a lot of marks so it's 120 right and it's a ones of payment and i leave the link to the actual course like when you press it it's going to send you straight to the website and you can like purchase it and all that immediately then when i get the pay when i get like a notification i'll enroll you in it and you're going to leave your details and everything don't worry it's a very simple process so i'm going to leave the link to the course then for free consultation before maybe you want to purchase the course or you don't know which topic you want to start with i'll also leave a link to that i'm going to leave it in the description right so you can book like a 30 minutes free consultation and we can discuss how we can achieve your goals and which direction to go and basically navigate this right because as i said the fact that my goal is for you to achieve your goal right then the link of this week quiz um the link of solve for x quiz is going to be in the description too so it's going to be written like quiz solve for x which is going to be the one that's related to the explanation of this video then next week's quiz if you want to start ahead is going to be linked in the description too is for number pattern so that's that i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope this was helpful in terms of like breakdown and how to approach so for X, what type of questions that you can expect. And I'll see you next week for number pattern. Bye.